A group of RV owners in Louisville are worried tonight about having to move. Right now they live in a mobile home park, but Louisville's Codes Department says RVs and campers are in violation of a town ordinance. Consumer reporter Don Dare first reported the story back in June. Tonight he has this follow-up. Don. Well, Bo, RV owners say inaction by the town has left them in limbo. At a town meeting in mid-June, RV and camper owners who rent space at Country Acres were told the town is not trying to evict them, but the owners say town leaders did not address the central issue, and that is, will the park owner have to eliminate RV and camper spaces? It's Rental laws were Residents were concerned about having to move their RVs in early June, and still are. They live at Country Acres Mobile Home Park in the town of Louisville. Those we talked with said they moved here because it's safe, quiet, and out of the way. However, a letter sent to the property owner says campers and RVs are in violation of the town ordinance. The park was approved for mobile homes, it says. However, RVs and campers are not allowed. Well, all of our campers are kind of living in limbo here, you know. We've lost a few that went ahead and moved because they were afraid of being evicted overnight. Luann Hackney is property manager at Country Acres. She lives there, too. She was one of a dozen residents who attended a meeting at Town Hall in late June. They were told the town is not evicting him. It's the code violations the town's concerned about. There's still some here, and they don't know where to go at this present time. Ken Mack owns Country Acres Mobile Home Park. He says several RV owners have moved because of the uncertainty surrounding the town's position. It's sort of really difficult for me to try and tell them to go somewhere when they don't know what to do. And you haven't been informed? Uh, and the only two letters I got are one on the November the 15th, I think, and December the 16th or 12th. Dewey Nguyen has lived in his RV for over a year, but will he have to move? He'd like to keep his home here, but he's unsure of the future. I'm still uh, anxious, you know, anxiety kicking in, like, you know, what am I going to do next? Uh, I'm still thinking. Three RV owners have left Country Acres since June. Management doesn't know if the empty lots can be filled with other RVs or campers. We don't know if we can rent our spots, if we can't rent our spots. We're just wanting an answer to our questions. And our... our Renters, you know, need to know, and they need to know ahead of time. If you can stay, what will that mean for you? Well, it'll give me more time, more time to rebuild, more time to save. The town of Louisville says it is working with the owner of Country Acres, Ken Mack, to bring his mobile home park into compliance with town codes. For RV owners left behind, their homes are safe, they think, for a while longer. Now, what upsets the owner of the park, Ken Mack, is that another mobile home park in Louisville has been given several years to remove RVs and campers on its property. According to records, Louisville's building department has given that park owner up to five years to eliminate RV and camper lots. Ken Mack told us he'd like to have the same consideration for his RV and camper owners because he says they'd have to move and that would be very inexpensive and inconvenient for them. We'll continue to follow this story, Bo. Yeah, keep us posted there, Don. Thank you, sir. Hey, if you have a consumer question for Don, take a moment, send him an email at ddarewat.com. You can also give him a call. The number on your screen, 865-633-6923.